this doctor does not know that he works there. So the, his therapist is just randomly getting a bead in a parking structure that this dude happens to work at. You wouldn't think you that he would have something in his file about this? Yeah. Well, or why wouldn't, why wouldn't you write this scene like Martin actually goes after him and gets him for the centipede? Why, why Jeez, do it so this way? Reasons. Because they only have... They have six a hours, location. six hours in the garage, garage location, and they have a just film parking lot, a, a, a cheaper, parking lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's all they got. So that's all they could afford. But you were talking about the point. The doctor's like, we can talk through this. And what does Martin do? Should he shoots well, him away? The doctor he says, says, "Sorry, sorry, the, Willie." The doctor the says, Willie. "What would your father say about this?" Yeah. So that's what triggers yeah. him. Yeah, because yeah, then, then it's like Dick shot. And he's, no, Willie shot. Willie, shot. yeah. I'm sorry, Willie. Willie shot and. I'm pretty sure that when it panned to the doctor with his dick shot, that there was actually Willy. like okay, in the Willy, uh, there there was guts that he was holding oh, yeah. on to. Yeah, like, there was it, parts it, of his ding dong Willy. Some stuff. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Yes, that was We're learning. Yes, that's what I do. Um, <laughs> and then it's a headshot, and I I I was literally watching this. I was like, lucky. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm lucky. Hey, you were talking about this earlier, Nick. Out of all the people in this movie who should be centipeded, you think that Doc yeah. is like on the I top of that I was excited when I saw him in the car. I was excited. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh man, that big beard is going to be Ooh, pressed in someone's ass. It's going to just be covered in, in fecal matter and in moments that's time. That's generally like how a movie should work. There should be payoff later for It's that almost like stuff, yeah, a re- but... retribution of some sort. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would give this movie l- less grief if there was like, oh, okay, there's a poetic justice moment Set here. Set up and pay off. Yeah, for, yeah, like it's fucked up, but like, okay, sure. I'll give you that. So after all this murdering, our, <sighs> our, good, our good friend Martin chases down that hooker. Yes. and Gotta want it. Finds her in the stairway. I have the peed. And she, <laughs> she's <laughs> pedophile. Pedophile or no, he, centipede? The centipede. Okay, cool. what, what, what do you think I'm talking about? The I pedophile. Mean, I he don't, could definitely be so the pedophile. Just the way he okay, looks. Yeah, fair. I, yeah. fair. Oh, so, anyway. So, oh. Yeah, speaking of uh, pedophile, he, he's like chasing after this hooker. The, the, yeah. And he's like kind of hobbling and he's like doing all these growls and he's being aggressive. And then he walks by the car of that. Before he, he dead stops, turns... The baby that was left in the back seat that was he. Okay. I think if one of the uh, abductees was left in the car. Yeah, yeah, well, he's yeah. There. yeah. So Martin is chasing down this hooker, and he's he's hobbling and whatever his weirdo body can handle. That's not a sprint after this hooker, and he's like growling and all this weird shit because he can't speak, and he stops. He just dead stops, and this child of this other couple that he is kidnapped already is still in this car in the garage nobody has noticed this crying child and he turns and he's like and then <sighs> so turns bad. back and starts chasing this hooker down again like, yeah i mean it, it's still in the car nobody has noticed so, it's so bad and then, and then you're like so yeah cuz she they the, it was a it was a wife and husband and the the wife was pregnant for the other child too and it's like they're on for a family vacation in london for some reason or something like that but he's chasing down this hooker lady but okay as with how many days of that kid still in this car and his pacifier is still in his mouth i mean you, we've you got have, 6 you hours uh-huh. yeah, and but it, it Wally was never uh, a pacifier baby. So, uh, oh, okay. but to keep enough. it in there yeah. for days, maybe we tried like it. day Watch singular. More. At least, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, at least today, we're in maybe pushing two because we are yeah. like we're late we're, we're at the point too. where like this is where it's gonna pick up and we're gonna he's gonna start building his creation. You know what I mean? <laughs> like after he does this, this is when it starts. All the tools are in the bag, and he's brought. I gotta have my tools. Yeah. He, he got all of his tools from, and he just grabs stuff from his kitchen after. <laughs> yeah, they just like these are going to be useful for later. DIY. Yeah, exactly. Why <laughs> don't let big, uh, big hardware stop you from making a human centipede? That's Dude, you just need a, the happen. basicest, uh, basic. Oh my god, ass and mouth. <laughs> ass and mouth. You just need the most basic uh, stapler ever. Apparently, you don't, you don't apparently. need a scalpel. You don't need any surgery. Any, like, yeah, no surgery tools. One hundred percent. He's got the knowledge. 
He's got the knowledge. No one, sutures. One hundred percent medically accurate. I mean, so honestly, he's just, no. if it if it were me, I would probably do. I would like. I cauterize it. I think that'd be easier. Personally, it could, uh, but we're. But you're pressed be- for time, my man. Yeah. You know things are moving. You gotta sew people ass to mouth. You grab what's ever in your kitchen. You go to your warehouse and you do a torch. You need to make it work. So, why, uh, why did they cut the ass cheeks? Because he was trying to do. The, you really wanted how the grafting that was in the first movie. Yeah, because don't they uh, the uh, like cut, yeah, cut no, the cheeks, yeah. cheeks in yeah, like a like, square like, pattern so to make no, the mouth wider. Yeah, and they they sew. Each other's skin with each other's, yeah. like, it's, it's their... Staple. Yeah. No. Well, well, in the first one, it was so, but yeah. Staple. No, I think it was staple in the first say, one. Was it? I guess you uh, I don't know. Do you want to check the tape? Because I sure as fuck know. I don't know. I, it's I'm the good. staple of the movie. How about we leave it at that shitty mm. joke? Okay. Uh, uh, so, bad. he's chasing after... I know. It wasn't very good, but it's to keep us moving along. Cutting this shit out. <laughs> yeah, moving from A into B into yeah, C. Yeah, so he's chasing after this this prostitute, and she he finds her in the stairs because she decided to stop in this parking ramp where this psychopath is. She didn't keep running, which would have been the smart move. Get anywhere in the public view, especially does in he, a busy does city. She was area. shot in the leg. Does he hit her with okay. a crowbar? Yeah, oh, I think uh, before it was that spray. happens. Yeah, before that Pepper's happens, spray. she's begging for like, you know, I'll do whatever you want, you know, thinking that she can talk her way out of this. Little does she know, that's not what Martin's into. Dude, I can't believe she pepper sprayed the fuck out of him. Yep. and he's good to go. That, yeah, like, and then she she doesn't get away because she ends up being part of the peed. His yeah. eyes are huge too. Yeah, and and, and um, he's like a pug, biggest sweet. <laughs> and it's like he's a mostly eye. Pug. He's like a Zelda boss. Too. <laughs> like his eyes, I wouldn't be surprised if they would pop out of his head. You know, or if he got like hit in the back of the head, one would like. Yeah. They're like, uh, gigantic. Like the the oh, I can't think of the actor's name, but he's in Young Frankenstein. Like the Mel. Oh, like you know what I'm talking Igor. about? Yeah, oh. Igor. Yeah, he's got those Igor eyes. So, damn. After all of this is done, he so he ends up getting that hooker, and he gets, then he gets the phone call he's been waiting for. Actresses in town ready to be picked up. No, she was like, "I'm interested in this yep. Tarantino movie." Uh, it, Marty yeah, Feldman. Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman. I go. Sorry, I, no, I had to good. look that up. No, no. That was bugging me. I love that movie. Bug- that was a bad joke, bug eyed bug. God ah. damn it. Ah. You son of a that, bitch. That, that was unintentional. <laughs> Cut. Shit's fucking cut. Oh, Get out. Unintentional. Get out. You're garbage. Garbage. You never Trash make it in this boy. town. <laughs> that, that's fair. It's dumb full um, <laughs> So he picks up. Uh, so then Martin takes his van that's filled with a couple more people, five, six. Uh, the, the, so, bodybuilder. And Dude, I don't care. I don't give yeah. a shit. People. He's got people. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. even try to make any kind of sense of this? Because they're just so an ATM. Yep. They're going to be. The actress? <sighs> we kind of so, said, we skipped over this too because all the victims know what was about to happen. No, yeah. Like, uh, he stops in for a checkup, I guess. And, uh. They're all still duct taped together. Because yeah. duct tape is apparently super hard to get out of, even though that they have at least 12 hours to Dude, try to Jesus get Jesus fucking Christ, come on, man, it's fucking duct tape. Except, except for the pregnant woman, who we forgot to mention, the abduction of. But the pregnant woman, he has left completely unbound. So no, I'm pretty sure she was bound. No. Her feet were. Her leg, her arms weren't. Really? No, if anything... Oh, if yeah, yeah, you're right. What the fuck? Well, that's kind of like... No, you can't. Do whatever. Do so, whatever. So he checks in, Fuck. and the duct tape on the mouth is comes off this one guy, and he's like, the human centipede is a film. You can't actually do that. it. It's a film. It's a film. And that's when I was like, this that. is not a film. Nothing you do is a film. Tommy Six, you're a garbage human being. Yeah. How dare you try to say your movies are films? They're not even movies. They are, they are at least an hour and a half waste of time, and I want you put in prison for what you've done. Dude, it's an hour and a half. That has felt every step of the way, because there were so many times, I was like... How far... How much, how much do I got how left? How much more Pause. do I I'm have? I'm only 20 minutes in. This movie... <sighs> yeah. I've done that so many times, yeah. like, during the watching of this. Yeah. I took a break, like, an hour in. I just to, like Just to, like, reacclimate and just be like, oh, my fucking God, the yeah, pacing. The pacing in this bad. movie. There's nothing good about this movie, and you can't say it's like that's what I'm. Earlier we argued about artistic intent. There's no art. There's like, no intent. It's bad. It's all bad. The directing is bad. The shooting is bad. Yeah. Everything about this is bad. Like the, there's no character development. There's no story. There's no nothing. That's why I was super mad because it wasted my time. See, it's this movie is like the two girls 
on one cup of movies, where <laughs> you show it to your friends to sh- you know shock them and surprise them, and then it's like instantly forgotten because it was kind of a fad. After that, we, we, you don't you don't have any friends. If you have friends, you're showing human centipedes. To, centipede too. If you okay, I had a friend. Let me, I had a friend in high school be like, "Hey, watch this movie with me." Let watch me put it to you this way: If I just met you and you go, "Yeah, I got movies. I got Human Centipede two on Blu-ray." I ain't fucking talking to you. We're not friends. <laughs> we're, not friends. And we're not fucking friends. I'm just saying I'm that. I'm not talking to you. Like if they you, said that, like like in the first day of knowing them, yeah, f- no, I, I, I would. We ain't friends. Away. Don't talk no, to me. No, what you no. like, Kingdom Hearts? I don't give a shit. Don't talk to me. You like that thing that I like also? It's too late. The yeah. ship has sailed. It's sunk. I burned it. <sighs> so Special it, edition, centipede edition. No, nope. It actually comes with a figure of all the twelve people. Just a very oh. detailed like statuette. So he gets the call. About this, and because re- that's why, that's why, because he's he gets the call while he's with his prisoners. Yep. And I just want to say one thing: Martin's got bomb ass cell service. He <laughs> can get a call, everywhere. He can get a call in the <laughs> middle of this warehouse that's surrounded by concrete that's at least five you know inches thick, and he's like, "All right, I got a call. Let me just pick." This no, up. well, hold on. Two stories. Let's let's, let's 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 di- let's dissect this a little bit. I'd rather not. <laughs> everything he listened to is a voicemail. He's getting voicemails on everything. But it rings. The phone rings. Yeah. Which means he yeah, sends it to voicemail to listen to. That's true. Like, so he's not... It has so that to he's not speaking. Through. Yeah. Um, so he gets this call. The actress is good to go. She just needs to be picked up. And so he takes his kidnapper van and hmm. picks this chick up. And she's talking about how... Oh, I, uh, oh man, all this stuff. I'm kind of a germaphobe, and oh man, I can't believe I did that movie. I can't wait to work with Tarantino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he is having a whole And you're just like, attack. and you're like, so you believe, you're trying to make me believe that this character is some able to do this sort of thing, like abduct people, bring them together, and he's having an asthma attack next to yeah. this car, in this car ride. And then you, how does he keep his uh, detainees quiet when he goes to pick up the uh, the actress when he originally leaves the garage? It's just duct tape, right? No, so, no he, he just slaps, slaps the side the of the truck. van. Oh, like like they're yelling for help, and he slaps the side of the van, and they just go dead quiet. Yeah. And you're like, that's it? He's like, all right, I'm going to go pick up that chick now. London's <laughs> a different place now. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's it's got to be. Different. So... Dude, he, he picks her up, and she likes to talk about herself. Yeah, and talks about how they're going to take showers. and Dude, they're... There's so many warning signs in, in that scene where he gets her into the, the, the centipede room. So, all right. No, this goes back to what you said earlier about how much would it cost you. Yeah, she yeah. openly admits that everyone took showers because they were putting their faces next to each other's asses. So there was no... 45, 45K. You're still sticking yeah. with your number? 45K. Good for you. Give me a mill. <laughs> Give me. I'm a gonna cool put your mill. face right up next to to Nick's ass, and you're okay with that for a new car? Yeah, dude. I don't know. 45K, dude. Your ass. I don't know. For a for new a, car. 45K. For like a brand new. Your like, ass for 45K. Like yeah. a, a super. I do it for 30. Like a nice one. <laughs> 30 bucks. A nice. Super. Do it for dinner. <laughs> Sense. Do it for dinner. Dude, it's, it's a it's a whole lot of so stuff. so you stick with your number. I just yeah. wanted to ask you that question because she, she admits in the movie that you know everyone took showers because they got really close to each mm-hmm. other. But yeah, warning signs. Yeah, there's a lot of warning signs, and he gets her in there, and then it's it it's he does his old one two with the crowbar. Before that, she's like, "That's Tarantino's car, isn't it?" And there's oh, only one like car in the parking lot, yeah. and it's like, <laughs> "All right, if this is an audition, where's everybody else?" Yeah. Where's like everybody? Warning else? sign. It's yeah. like a '90s Mercedes, maybe '80s. It's old. Like it's not. And as soon as like he opens the warehouse door, it's just you can hear screams. It's like, no. yep, people Man. are here auditioning. <laughs> yeah, and then and, at this dark, point, lit warehouse. Dude, at, what does that say about the auditions? Uh, I don't know. For Tarantino <laughs> movies. These are yeah, acceptable they're weird. conditions. Yeah, they're oh, yeah, weird. Cool. yeah. No, he's being artsy. <laughs> so yeah, she le- she's led into this essential dark lit area, and then he does the old one two light switch flip and knocks her unconscious. Yep, and and then she becomes part of one. They all yeah. Now, it's a I clocked it. 
I didn't yeah. get the exact time. Well, when, when we got the first peed? When we started the peed. It's about ten minutes of intense gore porn. Where he's yeah, I was going to say, because he's it's... He's knocking it's, teeth out yeah, with a hammer. With a hammer and, and cut, his fucking butts uh, and... Uh, okay. Okay. To cut butts. Hold on, yeah. hold on. You timed it when we started actually getting... Like, when, so I was... When like, he started the pee. I, I paused it, because I was like, what point do what? I consider the beginning of this graphic gore porn? He, it's when he clocks her on the head. Is it over an hour? It's... Well, over an hour into the movie before you yes. get it? Yeah, this that yeah, was when this I is, took my break. This is almost... right at the beginning. This is almost Yeah, because the end all of, of this... Movie. Yeah, this is like... It has a really weird pacing, because it's like, you have an hour and a half, and you're like, stupid, 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 the first gross... Thing, and then boom. Our, our ten useless some useless gore porn. Like it's not even heavy gore porn. It's just like I think the mom death scene and set up. I guess question mark set up is what you could argue with everything is because the most gruesome thing in this movie was his was his mom's death. You don't see yeah, mom's, and then I, like just basic like him abducting people, bashing them on the head. That head man. What a what, little bit of gore porn there. Once he knocks the actress on the head, then it's like you click that dark web gore porn shit. Yeah, I really wanted this whole. They go. They don't show like every person getting their teeth knocked in. No, but they don't show. They they don't show every person getting their kneecaps taken out. Like it was just like that was their Achilles tendon being found in their thigh. Oh no, no, um, and their calf, and then oh, is that what that was? Yeah, I, I didn't watch it. I'm gonna be walk. honest with you. I didn't watch it that closely because yeah. that I'm not. I'm personally not interested in that he, shit. He I don't like the teeth thing. I don't he like dug anyone. in there and found them and cut yeah. them. Dude, I, what did like? What the fuck's the point of this so shit? It's just to shock you. That's Dude, it, like, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. that's the point of this fuck podcast. You. <laughs> yes. yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Tom Six. Fuck you. So he's doing this just hardcore gore porn. And anybody who anybody who's listening to this and actually liked the movie and thought this was artistically done, go Dude, fuck we're yourself. not for you. Go fuck yourself. We're You're not a garbage for you. human being. You don't have any taste in anything. Kill yourself, please. <laughs> as a, as a legal note, I'm not actually telling you to kill yourself. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> I want you to yeah, and send it. You're not doing our like and subscribe no, hold section. On. I got you. <laughs> fuck I want you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you all can go. I to want hell. you. I want you to. <laughs> Do what Martin did to his victims, and I want you to bash that like button. <laughs> or shoot that like button right, right in the leg and make it a human centipede. I want you to human centipede that like button. So hey, just so you know, you can watch each episode of, or listen to each episode of Misery Loves Movies back to back. Like a human centipede. <laughs> It'll be a podcastipede. Oh, God. That was I was going to hang myself. Yeah. We're going to make so, shirts yeah. out of that so you can... Podcastipede. Yeah, podcast. Yeah. Podcast-a-pede. Podcast-a-pede. I'm gonna podcast look, I'm gonna wear it I go, Dude. and everyone's going to know it was you who said that. That's awful. Dude, you can put my name under that. Was, it could be worse. Happen. It could be a curse word, It's going to be your face. <laughs> Me in the, in the front of the podcast. Big old thumbs you up. You suck it with you're, one of my You're hands. right in the middle of this, this <laughs> podcast. Suck it. podcast <laughs> So, he's in the middle of doing this intense gore porn. Say that he, but he's done it. <laughs> No, He's, no, no, because there's something in in between. What happens? Pregnant lady. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, we do geez. need to talk we, about this. This has lady. to be, like, that's why, all right, that's why I'm glad we, well, yeah, we forgot about it. This because is Because she's a forgettable one. character up until this point. Yeah, this is yeah like, it's, it's almost point. like a one-off, and then you see, and then, okay, this is, like, after, like, he's done it, he's Put his, he's dancing it, around. And he thinks the pregnant lady's fucking dead. And then we get this scene. And the shark gets jumped in this movie. Dude, who's, which who's is, taking which this? Because I can't. It say. felt like Evil Dead 2 a little bit. But How even is Evil Dead 2? No, 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 no. In Evil no. Dead 2, it's like, ah, I'm Evil Dead 2. I'll take, I'll take it. So no. The, the, the pregnant woman start, uh, jumps up. He thought she was dead. She starts running across the room. And like there's blood hitting the floor, so it's implied that she's having the the baby. Yeah. Yeah. She uh runs outside, gets into the car, locks the doors. This tiny man comes running out in his lab coat. Unarmed. 
And he's, yeah, like, s- tiny slapping. Yep. He's Pooh Baroness. He's, so. yeah, Pooh Baroness. And baby. And he forgot his signature weapons, the crowbar. He doesn't yeah, have the crowbar. He doesn't have anything. He he's baby any slapping this car. He's not strong enough to, to do anything. And she starts having the baby. He's, like, watching and yelling through the window. She has the baby. It's on the floor. She looks at the baby. And then. Starts the car. Put, yes. But no. she kicks it. I don't, she, she does kick, yeah, she does kick the baby. She yep. jams down on the gas pedal and smashes the baby's head. Which, yeah. for some reason, was parcu- like put there. And the question we all have to ask ourselves, what's the point? We, well, we don't <laughs> Dude, know. why am I in a fucking basement talking about Human Centipede 2? That's, what I'm, why, not, that's my why. <laughs> no, like, yeah. I, can tell you, I can tell you why. Why? You want people on the internet to like you. Dude, ain't nobody gonna like me. I guarantee you, you're gonna, you're looking, you're doing this for your own ego and hoping that there's other people who will listen Call to you. Call me CJ6 and, at this point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're all going ATM. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. Dibs on. You can go, Betsy. It's fine. I just need dudes. Oops all dudes in this Oops movie. All oops all dudes. 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 <laughs> like, this is some kind of oops all uh, grunge fairies. Oops all dudes. That's my favorite, like, joke to do. It's dumb as fuck, <laughs> oops, but, like, oops, oops all dudes. Oops all X. Yeah. Yeah, oops all X. <laughs> so, I God it. damn it. Makes me laugh. <laughs> Dude, it got a tickle. Okay. <laughs> Dude, so at this point, well, actually, we did, we ah, no, nope. we should probably double back and talk about the pooping scene because that was no, we're getting there. No. I just want to talk uh, about this car scene and how it was completely useless, and the fact that it was just to do another shock jump. So at this point, we're we're looking for the poop scene. This is when the poop scene comes up. He grabs a like a dog f- feed bowl and puts like a, a chili, essentially beans in a bowl. And, and, and tries to feed it to his, his, his peed, his I'm, centipede. I'm just gonna say, like, you go forth and you put in all this effort to sow some people ass to mouth. This centipede is your baby. Not, you don't even, you don't even put the effort in to fucking microwave some beans for your centipede. If you have a pet, <laughs> Out of a can. you are taking care of that pet every day. You are well, walking yeah, it, you are training it. It's a it. fetish thing. It's, it's like a fetish a thing. Hormel, but I mean, like, like can chili. You yeah. know what? At least make the person who's in slot A feel special for being in slot A. It's she's, like, the, oh, yeah, I'm in slot A. Well, I get some I mean, unmicrowave. She she so cool. She's the actress. But this is also after he ripped out her tongue. Yeah. Yeah, we glossed over that. Which so doesn't it's matter, because it's, it's part of that 10-minute yeah. scene of gore porn. Yeah, Fucking it's blood. part of that 10 minutes, and I don't want to talk about 10 minutes of gore porn. No. I don't either. I'm but good. So, it's, so he rips it's just up, bad. Spoiler alert, he rips out the lead actress's tongue, and then... Which, by the gonna, way, would make you bleed out and die. Yeah, but me, again, we're Fucking all... Fucking who Well, they're cares? all shot. They're all shot in the leg. Yeah, they're all dead. They're all dead before this anything happens. Yeah, and crowbarred at least twice in the head. At so okay. so we're gonna okay. and they're left, we're gonna they're talk left about for days without food and water. Yeah, they're we're, dead. We're gonna talk about the Schindler's List. Yeah, that we mentioned earlier. Yeah. I want you to set do, this do, up for me. Okay, what am I doing? We're talking about pooping. We're so we have the, the beans scene. in the bowl. Beans in the bowl. Okay, and so not, I've got this. And All right, not eating it. So she's not eating this this beans out of this bowl. Imagine that. So what he does is he get this. Uh, it, essentially, it's like a beer bong, but it, it's got like a long tube at the end of the funnel. He takes that whole tube and shoves it like right into her mouth. It's a good like the, three foot tube. Dude, oh, yeah. it is, the it's, funnel like, is like hitting her in the nose. into her stomach. Yeah, yeah, like just put it, and then he dumps it in there. Just and, a bunch of Campbell's but, soup. Yeah, it's yeah. like, like... I thought it was condensed milk when I looked at it. A cream of mm-hmm. something. Dude, I thought it was more of that beans. No, no it, it was, was like, right. yep. was it, it was like whatever. a cream of something soup. Why would you give him like liquids? I don't, anyways. When you're on a budget. But that's not they need, do- they need fiber. Come that's on. not that's not doing feed. it for him. Yeah. It's, not, it's not moving fast enough. So what does he do? Oh, dude, he uh, so I mean he is not satisfied with his results. So he does what any normal person would do, and he injects laxative into each and every participant. In no, that sounds bad. Uh, he injects them into each and every victim. And on top of that, it, it's. The bottle on the laxative says it's an oral laxative, first off, and he injected it into the butt. I didn't catch that. Yep. No, I, I saw did. it too, and I mean, really? this again, another plot hole that is this movie. So. Dude, and what happens, and it just... So, it's I'm gonna, this is where Nick and I are going to take over for a little bit. But also, we, I would like to point out, throughout this entire part... Dude, we are, we are, we are pushing way past everything. I, it's I just, fine. It has dude. to be done. I it's fine, because we, we, we got legs on this. We can probably yeah. do another 20. Keep in five. mind... 
the entire time this explanation is going on, no matter what these guys are going to be saying about this next scene, Martin is dancing around in the background, making fart noises, and yep. boy howdy, it just adds to everything. It adds, it adds true characteristic to this. So, Take it away. We need to address what we mean by the Schindler's List. Yeah. And I, what I'm, when I say this is the Schindler List of the scene, Schindler's List is a movie, uh, that's shot in all black and white by Steven Spielberg. And it's about the Holocaust. Right. And the whole movie is black and white. Except, except for, for one thing. And it's this little Jewish girl's red jacket. And it's supposed to be this color pop that is to bring the audience in to realize it. Now, you see her early in the movie, walking with her, her parents in the ghetto or something like that. Like, you know, yeah. they're, they're doing whatever it is they do. And then later in the movie, you see a cart of dead bodies, and the only color you see is this little red jacket on top of, like, this as they're going to this incinerator or wherever it is they're going to imply this little Jewish girl has just been murdered by the Nazis. Right. And that's supposed to be... And it was a very powerful scene... And shit, I mean, the whole movie is a very powerful movie. Right. But it's the only color. It humanizes more or it gives you a connection with that. It has, there is a feeling had. Yeah. And it, it's the only color in the entire movie. Yep. And that's, that's the power behind it. So. So what we get in the human centipede to the full sequence by Tom Six, one hour and 27 minutes and 47 seconds long, made in 2011, is this guy injects laxatives and the only color we see in this movie is diarrhea brown. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Schindler's List in, moment. In vivid color. <laughs> this is what Tom Six thought I'm going to make this my Schindler's List moment. This is going to get me the Oscar. The brown shit diarrhea is the only color that's going to be seen in this entire movie. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> two two pieces. What I'm pie. saying is, what I'm saying is, he, he's he gone above the Tarantino level. He's like, I'm the next Steven Spielberg yeah. with my moving directing abilities. And I, that's what I lost. Like, the the car scene, but this scene is when I, wa- I was like, pause. I hate everything that is this movie <laughs> because it is nothing but shock. It is nothing but senseless anything. There is no point. It is only gotcha moments, and that's it. <laughs> the whole movie's jump scares. <laughs> A little bit. Kind of. Dude, Jesus Christ. Fucking, yeah. And no, then, you're not wrong. I want this I is- want I want this is the the kiss to the sky. Yeah. The, this is the this is the masterpiece. Scene. Yep, this is when Tom Six just finishes it up in the in the sandpaper. This is like this is his uh, jerk off with. This is his uh, uh, when what's her face who wrote Twilight started her book. She wrote that one scene of like the magical vampire. This is a magical vampire is, in the forest. Dude, yeah. this is when Han gets his hand cut off. Or not Han, but this is when Luke, Luke gets, his, gets hand his hand cut, cut off. This is this when, is when Biff steals the time machine. This is when Aragorn is, is given Ari, like Arendell reforged yep. the flame of the West. Go and bring forth peace to Middle Earth scene. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dude, and it is oozing out of... Th- I thought, no, that part in Free Willy where the whale jumps <laughs> over him. He jumped the whale. Yeah. yeah. And that Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah. What, this is what made me want to... I will be there. Okay, <laughs> somebody... It, we, Tom Six deserves to be in prison. Yeah. But after this <laughs> this move, I was like, this is it. Well, they do, they give him more money for three. Apparently. Yeah. Somebody put a cap on this. Jonah, please I, walk us away from my I, I, I just wanted to point out, like, I, I made a connection to Sin City because another movie in black and white with splashes of color. Again, they use red. But that is more to, like, bring attention to detail. Like, so I, I guess by that logic, like, all of this is, like, just background supplement. But man, Tom Six just really wants to ram it down your throat that there is just diarrhea happening. The camera gets right up next to an explosive diarrhea. Oh, it's diarrhea. 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 It hits yep. the, the, yep. the, the, it hits the, the camera. camera. It's like it's right it's there. It's the star of the film. I'm telling you, he has a, a serious, like, scat scat fetish. Yeah. Fetish. No, so, something. Jesus I'm Christ. telling you. And I'm sitting here watching this, and this is... God. Yeah. So I to, paid my subscription, and this is why. Uh, <laughs> to walk to walk away from this abomination. 
Um, the, the human centipede ends up splitting apart and man, Martin just loses his shit, pun intended. And that's just, what it's, he, 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 he just grabs like, pulls, his pistol and he, he pulls the rip cord. Yep. He pulls the rip cord. It's like, all right, fucking shut it down. Shut Caps it the fuck down. And then he runs out of bullets. Oh, so guess what does I he gra- do? I, best, I guess I better grab that steak knife and just start hacking away at necks. His toe fork. It takes so yeah. long. Yeah. And <laughs> each one takes so he long. Like, he like and sees him sawing down time, a tree. It goes back into the gore porn, like the heart yeah, of the gore porn. That's what it is. So the other half of the centipede ends up making its way over to the light switch. The lights are shut off, and Martin just doesn't know what to do. And he turns the lights on, and the actress chick has the centipede in the box and throws it at the guy. Yeah, she has the cage and just hucks it at him. And, you know, centipede is loose. Centipede is in play at this point. (laughs) Um, Centipede in play. Player player three has entered the battlefield. Centipede. A new challenger approaches. A new challenger (laughs) has approached. (laughs) Centipede versus... Solid snake. The, this Centipedes in Smash? <laughs> Centipede I, everybody's in Smash. 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 Centipede confirmed Centipede in Smash. Did you hear that, Nick? Yeah. yeah. The new Smash Brothers? Centipede. Yeah. Confirmed. Everybody's in it. Everyone's everybody's in it. Everybody's in it. Centipede. Ridley got announced, and immediately afterward, Sakurai was just like, Centipede for Centipede, Centipede made Centipede it. to full state. Waluigi. 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 It is, it is, we did just date it we right date now. We date every episode. Waluigi I don't is even still an assist trophy, but Centipede is in Smash. Human, Waluigi's no, no. still the human assist. Human Centipede is an Fuck assist Waluigi. trophy <laughs> in this, in the new Smash. No. Confirmed character. And there's everywhere. So, um... So, again, to try and walk away from this, as tough as it is, um, this guy, Martin, he's, hate is. he's just hacking. He's just hacking away at these necks on the centipede, and the chick, the actress chick at the front, he saves her for last, and he's brushing her hair. And then she oh. just, she punches him in the willy. Yeah, she dick yeah. punch. No, willy, willy, willy punch. punch. Oh, sorry. And willy, willy punch. Like, all right, so we're going to smash for this. Willy punch. <laughs> oh, willy God. punch. Give him the old Captain Falcon. Um, and Martin goes down. Centipede's main move, it's his forward smash. <laughs> Martin goes down, and the actress chick just pulls down his tidy whiteies, grabs that funnel, shoves got it. got the smash yeah. ball. Shoves it right in there, That's smash ball ult. style. You got all to And then him. puts the, grabs the centipede off the ground and puts it into the funnel. Into his Centipede ass. goes yep. up Martin's ass. It's a carnivorous like, centipede as it's... Apparently, not to be yeah, established. Yeah. It bites. So <laughs> it bites. Probably, probably this guy's ultimate fetish dream. He, he probably yeah. yeah, dude. And then he can no the, paper the, required. The girl I mean. dies, right? Oh yeah. And yeah. then he's left to struggle with a centipede in his asshole. Well, the fucking final, the final no. scene in this movie is we just see him sitting down watching yeah. the human centipede one. In he his wakes, office again. Yeah, he wakes up again, and there... Yeah, I I think it was a dream. Yeah, so like a was, no, dream. Th- okay, no, th- this... Well, there's, there's, no, there's, a not... kid, there's a kid crying in the parking structure, which would imply that oh, it's not, not a dream. Right. God, no, then, like, fuck you, man. Shut yeah. up. Not you, literally. Yeah. But it's like... Fuck you! It's Fuck that, you, Tom. you waste you wasted one hour, twenty seven minutes, you, and forty seven seconds of my to life to get like a spinning top. And yeah. maybe maybe he, he's still. I didn't in know the Christopher dream. Nolan had an executive yeah. role in this. I love it. So I, lo- I love like ninety eight percent of a movie. <laughs> Dude, so we're, we're we're wrapping this up here. I, just, I do I do want to say one thing. I watched through the credits. There was no Thanos. Nope. No, okay, no Thanos. Confirm no Thanos. Yeah. Confirm no Thanos. That's they are I, saving him as the stinger in three. Okay. That's why I've been saying one hour, 27 minutes. I watched it from beginning to end to make sure I wasn't getting robbed of any... Uncle Stanley doesn't show up as A. No, I didn't see my... <laughs> oh, stingers? No yeah, stingers. Like, no, 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 Uncle Stanley, yeah, I'm, I'm centipede A. Like a little, like a no. little D on the end of yeah, the only, centipede. The only sting that's happening credit. is that centipede up Martin's ass. I won. Yeah. So, Sorry I beat you too. No, you're, you're good. <laughs> you beat me to it, and I'm okay with that. One hour, 27 minutes, 47 seconds. I watched it from beginning to end to make sure there wasn't any sort of, like... It. It, it. The Tom Curry, like the TV version of It, where halfway through the credits they cut and go to part, like the next when they're adults. You've never seen it? Don't watch it. No, I've seen it. I've seen it. It's not great. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And so that's why I watched it. Did you see that new It? 
No. Yeah. Should. Yeah, that was pretty good. Your final, your final comment. Uh, I think, I think okay, we so just get a final comment. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, fuck. Clockwise. Yeah, let's just let's just. My final comment on this fucking movie is fuck Tom Six. I don't want to know you if you own this on Blu-ray. I think we should end the podcast real ambiguously. So, <laughs> like, maybe it was a podcast, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was you a dream in the You one. don't know. Maybe it was all a What's dream. the end credits to the... You know what? I like that better. Yeah. So we'll go this way. So do you want to start... We're good. We're up. Did you want to start yours again? No. Fuck Tom Six. Done. <laughs> okay, hold on. Pause two seconds and we'll go just because I want to make sure everyone's get heard. One, two, three. Fuck Tom Six. <laughs> <laughs> one two one one two and away we go. Fuck that six okay. yeah. <laughs> is, is it one two three? Or is it one two? Uh, go on. Then. And then, uh, one two and then, three go. Fuck go. Tom six. Wait wait wait. One one two three and then go. Yeah. One two, one, two three, three and then go. Fuck <laughs> Tom. <six>. <laughs> so <laughs> beautiful, Carl. What are your final thoughts on this movie? Fuck Tom six. My final thoughts. This is an insult to all things horror and gothic. Tom Tom Six heard the story of Frankenstein from a high school sophomore who tripped on Molly and spark notes it, and he's like, "I can make it better. I can make it better. This is what I do as a modern artist." He doesn't deserve that much thought. Uh fuck Tom Six. Fair enough. At the end, at the end of my final thoughts, fuck Tom Six. Um, I I think even to call this horror would like be a slap in the face of horror because. We brought up It, and I, I did see the new It. It scared the shit out of me. I'm a bitch when it comes to scary movies. I, I'm horrible. But, like, I enjoyed that experience. This was just gore porn. And, again, it's a slap in the face of the entire genre. So and what you're saying is... Fuck Tom Six. That's her- what I was going hereditary? to say. Hereditary? Have you seen Hereditary? It's super good. Okay. Dang. So, what are your... Um... Well, in the end, it's porn but with none of the good bits and done badly. So what you're saying is it's pointless. And fucked up. And fucked up. Well, well, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Nick, what are your final thoughts on this? I really liked that it had an ambiguous ending. (laughs) And I think we should end the podcast in the same way and not know if we actually did a podcast or if it was just a dream.